We now have three review items, 5.01, the AVID program update. We have fabulous news. Good morning, members of the board. My name is Jen Lombardi. I'm coordinator of AVID for Anne Arundel County Public School. At the AVID office is here today to share how our AVID program is advancing and embracing the mission of Anne Arundel County Public Schools and moving the vision of the superintendent forward. It is because of your support and the county's support of the AVID program that students in the academic middle are supported every day in what they do. In fact, we are eliminating achievement gaps through targeted recruitment of historically underrepresented student groups and then opening access to rigorous courses and supporting those students as they persevere through. Every AVID site is preparing students to be college ready and they're doing this by taking students who are not academically independent and moving them towards independence and self-sufficiency in the learning process. AVID seniors leave Anne Arundel County Public Schools prepared for college. They're ready to think and read critically, question for understanding, collaborate for a common goal, and persevere for success. You might say, how do you know this? What is your evidence? Well, we have evidence. Last year, 88% of our AVID seniors had taken an AP course and sat for the exam with no disparities amongst student groups. This is up since our first graduating class in 2007, it was 36%. We make continual growth. We are continuing to strive for 100% because it's for every child. We work towards refining our support systems because there are gaps in the exam scores for our, some of our student groups and we recognize that and we are continuing to work on what support systems are needed to move all students to achieving at high levels. Our AVID students earn scholarship and grant money to make their college dream a reality. Last year, 365 AVID seniors earned $11.3 million, up $5 million from the year before. So far this year, we have 505 AVID seniors, two of which are sitting right next to me, and they have earned more than $17 million in scholarships and we have a month to go. Once in college, our AVID seniors persevere as successful AVID students. How do we know this? Our 2010 graduating class of AVID seniors 77% of them enrolled in a four or a two year university the following year. Of that 77%, 88% of them continued for a second year of college. That persistence data is amazing. There were no gaps between student groups and actually our Hispanic group was 100% that continued to the following year. The third year for that same group, 72% continued. There were some disparities for Hispanic and socioeconomically disadvantaged students, and the AVID office is looking into what resiliency strategies can we help support students so they have a third year plan. But the third year plan could have been, I finished my two years nursing degree at Anne Arundel Community College, I'm going to work for this hospital and they are gonna pay for my continued education. So we really have to look at what are the individual student needs and how, because we might not need to be doing anything differently. The two AVID seniors sitting next to me are going to do great things for Anne Arundel County and for our world around us. Jonathan Cogdale is a Gates Millennium Scholar. He is from Old Mill High School and Tavon Algren is from Arundel High School and Tavon has earned more than $90,000 in scholarship money to support his college dream. So I would like to have the students share with you. Jonathan. Good morning, members of the board. My name is Jonathan Cogdell, and I'm here to tell you about my AVID journey and how I've implemented the lessons I've learned in AVID into my academic journey over the years. I joined AVID in seventh grade. Ms. Anderson drafted me in. I had some friends that were in AVID and on my way 
to my next class because we would leave from gym class and pass by her class. Um, I would stop in there and talk to my friends for a little bit, and then, I would, and then she got used to seeing me, and um, she asked me if I wanted to join AVID. She asked me what my grades were, were looking like, and I, had, I was an AB student, still am AB, never miss an honor roll, and um, she had organized with my counselor that I get into the AVID program next semester, and I had been in ever since. Um, in the middle school, what we really focus on, what, what was emphasized in our program was taking Cornell notes right and um, learning how to problem solve with tutorials. And um, we all knew that what the importance of taking Cornell notes were as we needed to make sure that we wrote down our notes first and then asked questions later so that we could emphasize what the lesson was about and making sure that the essential question was there, making sure that for tutorials the questions were at least level two, not level one, not something that you can just find in a textbook, but something that you really have to think deeply about. And that also helps you retain the information as well. We would watch a video about corner notes to make sure that we're taking them properly, that we um, go back and make the revisions that we need to make, and any abbreviations, any corrections, any highlights, anything that we think should be emphasized before we take our test. And, um, and that, was, that carried on throughout the high school. And um, we started to emphasize more on the college application process starting our junior year. And we had started, we had wrote our, we, written, we had written our um, essays for the Common App our junior year. And we had, uh, our teacher had stored them for us. So next year when we came back our senior year coming, um, starting near the start of November, we had brought them back out and we just added anything else that we had um, achieved over the summer or in the first few months of our senior year. And we had put that into their essay to make it more impressive for the colleges, of course. And she really, Miss Gordon, she really worked hard to make us experts in the, co in the college application process and making sure that we didn't stray away from answering the actual question because we, she knew and we know now that when we're writing the essays for our colleges, they want to know us as well as they can without us being in the room. And we know that they need to be able to make a character analysis of who they're letting into their school through actually answering the question. And it was emphasized that we have to make sure not to go off on a tangent because it's really easy to do that, especially when you're writing about yourself, and to not go off on a tangent and make sure that you're actually answering the question. And I applied to 18 schools, and I've been accepted into 15, and I'm leasing, leaning towards Misericordia University in the fall. I'm looking into going into, into nursing. They have a four-year nursing program there, and I'm excited to start my um, academic journey in college. One more thing. Oh, a couple, couple more things I wanted to add is that with AVID, it wasn't just about corner notes, tutorials, and the college application process. It was also about carrying that out into the school. So in our, our AVID program, Ms. Gordon has set up an AVID house program. So we had house leaders, and they were in the names of colleges in Maryland. And it was, it was an incentive program. So we would have AVID dollars. And they had the faces of our teachers on the dollar. So we had ones, fives, tens, twenties. And um, I was one of the leaders for Howard House. We came in second, unfortunately. Salisbury won. But it was to give us, like, avid dollars. We got avid dollars for stuff like getting honor roll or principal's honor roll or getting accepted to a college or receiving scholarship money. <laughs> and um, we had planned a field trip at the end for the, ha for the house leaders and the people who had participated in the fundraiser. We did like a, um, a bake sale type thing. And um, another thing that was, that kind of strayed off of our AVID, AVID program is the AVID mentor program. Mr. Hansen is my counselor and he's AVID counselor. And he had set it up so that he took some leaders within the AVID program and helped the students. During advisory, we met once a week. We helped students that were struggling in AVID. Some of them were on probation, so we're working right now with them to get them back into the AVID program. And um, I'm one of the mentors. And um, it was really good to be able to be a part of that and see improvement in their grades 
and we would look at their great season. We would highlight the things that we thought they could redeem more points on. And it was good that they um, actually tried. And we stayed on top of them, made sure that they used that time during pride period and after school to bring their grades up. Thank you, Jonathan. Trayvon? Um, hello. I, my name is Trayvon Algren. I am currently a senior at Arundel High School. I've been an avid since I was in the sixth grade, um, and it's helped me tremendously. Um, going into avid, I wasn't really sure what it was. I mean, my parents have heard about it before, I had, and it was one of those things that, like, I wasn't really 100% sure, but mother was more so, like, try it out and see if you'd like it. So I continued throughout middle school and high school, and just helped mold me to become a person that I never thought I'd become. Um, AVID has helped with my organization tremendously. Um, I wasn't really goal-oriented going into high school, but AVID has really helped me set high goals for myself, not necessarily getting into a college, but more so of what are you doing afterwards. Um, I am second generation to go to college. Both of my parents attended college, but they had me at a young age, so it was kind of hard balancing college and a child at the same time. So there was be times where I need that help from my parents, but they didn't really have the answers for me. And there'd be times where, well, during the college application for, like process, for example, where I would ask my parents for like, what are they asking for? Or what should I put here? And my mom would swiftly answer, you should go and ask your avid teacher. So yeah, it really help, helped with the college process and applying for colleges and more so of sculpting you to be an adult and going to college prepared. Um, well, I have applied to not really a lot of schools. I w applied to the Culinary Institute of America in Hyde Park, New York, and I got accepted there. Um, they're offering me $5,000 yearly to attend their school, and that was my first choice. I was also offered $60,000 by Johnson & Wales University to attend their school, but again, the Culinary Institute is my first choice. So. <laughs> Um, I have dreams of becoming an executive chef one day, um, and I think AVID will help me further those skills and actually help me achieve my goals that I've set for myself way down the line. I think I set that goal when I was in the ninth grade. When, like, we would research schools in AVID. Like, we do that all the time. We would research colleges, and I didn't really know what college I wanted to go to, and they had college visits, college tours. There's been schools that I kind of liked and I could see myself going to, but I think the Culinary Institute is definitely where I belong, and I am ecstatic to attend them. So, yeah. Um, we'd be pleased at this time to answer any questions you may have. Mrs. Ritchie. Yeah, of course. You know. uh, I, I love Avon. I think that um, I, I'm so glad that it's grown as well as it's grown in our, in our county and that uh, we have two fine examples right here, a Gates Millennium winner. I mean, forget well, about it. I, you know, it's, it, it's just that's unbelievable. and. Um, Ninety was it ninety thousand dollars? Yeah, uh, your parents are over the moon right now. By the way, uh, yeah, they're real happy going to college, but they're real, real happy that you got all those scholarships. And 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 the fact is, is that things change as we go on. And and so to have this opportunity at this level, I remember in elementary school at the end of the school year, cleaning out the school desk, and if it was this one little boy. I, I remember specific, and it was cram packed. And when I emptied the desk out, it was the chronicle of the whole year. And now I understood why nothing got home, because starting in September all the way through. And so some people have natural organizational skills. Some people don't. And some people just need a way to help to, to shape that. And this program is absolutely 
I think one of the best parts about that is is helping you to understand why it's important to to organize. Um, so glad you listened to mom because <laughs> you know that just reiterates that mom really does know best. But okay, but but it helps you to understand. You know, what I mean, so you be able to you're able to take an opportunity and to do that, and the leadership that you have learned, whether you realized it or not. It is really going to serve you well as a nurse because you know that you, you need to have a lot of good leadership skills in, in that opportunity um, it's, it's not real fun when you got somebody coding on the floor and everybody's going who what do we should do here nobody steps you know <laughs> yeah, that'd be a problem. okay <laughs> been there done that so so to have the leadership skills is you know is absolutely essential and, and what avid provides I just I'm sad that we can't open it up to more kids because I know that there's there's tons of them out there that want to do that. But I, I just I think that this is an absolutely wonderful program and one of the one of the one of the gemstones in, in the crown of the things that we do is 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 avid. I think personally because it does provide opportunities and it helps kids and then young adults to realize what their true potential is because sometimes we don't have people that can do that for us, but but we do always have somebody in avid so I, i'm just thrilled and, and congratulations to you both and the best of luck in both of your chosen fields thank you. dr arletto thank you uh that that was fabulous thank you gentlemen thanks for sharing your story um that's it's important for us to hear um you and your story and what you're going to do with your lives um and how we have somehow contributed to that is our story Right? We don't have a story without our students. And the fact that you come out here in public and share that, and share that with others as the years go on. And we had a young man here two weeks ago that shared part of his story. He's a graduate of Chesapeake High School, and then he went on to UMBC, and now he's going off to get his PhD at, at Cal Berkeley. That's really cool for us, right? This is, so this is a big deal for us in all aspects of the school system. 10,000 employees, our focus is you. And so when we can hear the stories about what in some way, shape, or form, we've contributed to where you're headed in life, um, that's a huge reward for us. So I thank you. I thank Ms. Lombardi for her continued focus and efforts. Um, uh, Jonathan Trayvon, I wish you truly the best. Trayvon, just some advice, heading off to CIA uh, up in Hyde Park. Dress warm. My son is a freshman at Bard, which is just north on the Hudson, just north of Hyde Park, and he learned that the hard way. So. Lots, so bundle up, but it's a fabulous place. It's a beautiful campus. Um, and every time we go up in the past year to visit our son at Bard, we try and make reservations at one of the three restaurants and they're always full at CIA. My wife and I have not been able to eat there yet. So now that you're there, you're gonna hook us up. You're gonna hook us up. You're gonna get us into one of the restaurants. I'll find you. Congratulations to both of you. Thank you, thank you so much. Mr. Jackson. Thank you, ma'am. To both of you, thanks. Thanks for sharing your story again. And to Ms. Lombardi, I just had a couple of questions that um, if you can maybe follow up. Um, with respect to the scholarships that you talked about, $11 million for last year, $17 million already with still some time left uh, for this year. Where are we seeing those across the AVID program, across the district? And you don't necessarily have to answer that now, but and we've got AVID programs all across our district. Where are we seeing those numbers come in that make it, make up that 11 or that 17 million? Uh, so you're asking me um, what the 12 different high schools, yes, how it's dis dispersed? And, right. And um, if, at, for example, at Old Bell High School, they have 4 million. Um, and it most of our high schools are up this year over last year. Um, obviously, if they have as much as they do. Um, the large ones, um, Arundel High School, and I'm sorry, Annapolis High School has two million. Arundel High School has one million. Glen Burnie High, High School has one million. North County has above one million. I didn't have an exact number from them. Um, Northeast has 3.9 million. Mm -hmm. And they were Last year, they were at 2.7 million. And Northeast has um, not one of the largest programs. It's a and smaller school. This is just the AVID seniors. This is just, um, f at Northeast, it's 58 AVID seniors have earned more than 3.9 million. Um, Old Mill High School, 73 AVID seniors have earned 4 million. Um, South River, 46 have earned 1.5. Southern, 22, have earned 1.1. Okay. Does that Th help? 
Yes. Oh, absolutely. When we're out kind of um, talking to various folks, uh, it helps to be able to capture. Um, and I can send this data to perfect. you. Perfect. Um, and then you mentioned some in your comments at the beginning, you said um, there's some persistence data mm -hmm. that you have. Um, could you share some of those details? Not necessarily today, but maybe could you share some of that persistence data? Because it interests me very much so when you say 88% used the money uh, of those 80 or 80 after they got through college or the first year of college, I think is what you were saying. 88% stopped or 12% stopped using it after that first year. And then it dropped down after the second year of 70 something percent. So 20 something percent didn't use it. Um, maybe if you could quantify those numbers of people that are actually going out. And it's great we know, like, for example, 11 million earned it. But I'm also interested in how much of that 11 million was actually used by those students as they went through the first year and second year of college. Right. Does that make like sense? Like Trayvon has earned 90,000 to Correct. go to the Culinary Institute, he would only be using around 30 of it. Right. Well, I think he said for the one that he's going to go to, he's only going to use five. You've got five right now. For four years. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Five times four, 20. Right. Um, which is absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just... Um, kind of like we talk about all the AP work that we're doing here and getting students into AP. But I want to start to understand and peel the onion back about how many of those students are getting threes, fours, and fives, as opposed to we're just getting them in to take an AP class. So same way with scholarships. It's great that we highlight we've got $17 million worth of scholarships for this year, and we may have more. I want to understand how many how much of that money is actually being used by our AVID students as they go into their first, second, third, and fourth year of college. Does that make sense? That makes perfect sense. Okay. Thank you. The difficulty, of course, the difficulty, of course will be it's become self-reported data. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So yeah. it's yeah. we have to try and get a hold of the students, and they could call us back or not call us back. You guys are calling us back, right? <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. So we've got two. But so, so you understand, so that's yeah. part of it is when they leave us in the public school system, we don't always, we can't get the data we'd love to have to say as they go off from two-year colleges to four-year colleges, how they do, how they perform, what they do beyond that, how they use their scholarship money, it's all self-reported. We can reach out, um, uh, but we don't have that sort of engine that we can sort of draw that data in it from our graduates. It becomes yeah. difficult for us. Absolutely, and I appreciate that. Thank you very, very much. Thank Jonathan, you. when you uh, come back, or you finish nursing school, if you come back to Anne Arundel Medical Center, let us know so we know we're in good hands. We know which hospital to go to, um, or Baltimore Medical Center, um, or the VA. With Debbie, go work with Debbie. I can work there. Just let us know where to go to get care. And uh, sure. Trayvon, when you've got a sh restaurant, when you're the executive chef, we want to know so we can come patronize it. Of course. And I, I just wanted to encourage you both. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but there is sort of an AVID program in college. It's called FYE, First Year Experience. So when you get that course catalog and you have to sign up for your classes for your freshman year, if you see anything that says FYE, that's like AVID, college level AVID. And you guys are probably well prepared, but you might make really good mentors to the kids that are in there that need that program and who might not have had the opportunity to have AVID in high school. So I just want to encourage you to look for that FYE. Okay. Definitely All right. something I'll be looking at. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Is there any public comment on the AVID presentation? Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.